What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to House of Lasers. Uh, if you are not part of our uh, Facebook forum, please hop on and join. We are constantly adding new new topics, um, new products. We are reviewing. We are doing tutorials. Um, we are bringing knowledge bases, uh, basically to anything laser engraving uh, and cutting, and also uh, planning on adding new and other features as well, as well as different products. Um, today we are going to be covering Lightburn's variable text feature and how much time it can save you and how easy it is to use. Um, first of all, let's explain exactly what it does. Um, it is grabbing the information from a comma separated value spreadsheet. Uh, it, it is accessing um, by certain commands or certain texts, the columns. So in Excel spreadsheet, we have columns and we have rows. So if we were to say that we wanted to access column one, it's going to auto advance through all of the rows in column one. Uh, same thing for column two. We just have to tell it to access those files. So most of us know what a Excel spreadsheet looks like. Um, a lot of us don't know how to create one, um, but we would ask the client to, to at least send us a list of all the names so that we can drop them in to this spreadsheet. Or if they can create it and send it to you, that's that much faster and easier. Um, let me minimize this. So in Lightburn, how we access this is by using a percent sign and basically um, it's just a, a keyword of go to or access the csv file i'm not the uh, the software engineer but i understand how it works um, so if we had the percent sign and then we hit zero it's referencing that column um, now move down here we're going to do a percent sign and one, so we're accessing that list of names that you just saw, and pull it back up. We will be accessing column zero and column one. Let me minimize this again. So the way that we grab that is we are going to browse for that CSV file. And I believe that's in my downloads, CSV. And it should pull up, uh, there we go, there's our master list. Okay, so it pulled in a master list and it has 239 um, unique uh, names in it. So right now, it should access that, but there's one key item that you guys need to remember when you're trying to use this. If we select that, we need to tell this normal text that it is now going to be a merge CSV file. So if we go over here, we turn it into a merge CSV, and we're gonna have to do that for this one as well. It is set to normal text. We want it to merge. All right, so now it's activated as basically a line of code to access our variable text option. Let me line these up correctly. So if we skip forward, because right now we're at, at position zero, we want to start on position one. If I click test, we actually have a Aaron, uh, and he pops up, and he's in position one. Now, when we go to hit send, it's automatically, as long as we have this checked, it's going to automatically advance to the next name, like this. We'll go to three and it keeps track of each one so as long as you're keeping track and remembering to hit send to the laser so every time you hit send it will automatically advance you don't have to hit anything up here um, as long as you're keeping track and actually hitting send or not double hitting send um, this will automatically advance and make your life so much easier uh, if you had to engrave different water bottles like I was doing for this project. If you have to engrave 
um, an, an array that has a whole bunch of different, let's, let's just say, for example, um, we're creating name badges for, you know, a car dealership per se. Um, if we line that up, let's see, let's group those together. Let's line these puppies up and center them. Good. So it should fit in there fine. We will shrink this down just so we can build a quick array and show you. So, you know, you're building name badges and you have all of the employees' names and maybe the year that they started working there. Um, if we built a quick array, okay. And so you could only fit this many um, on your sheet. Test. It's all going to automatically populate all, the, all those. Once you hit send, it's going to jump to the next however many you have in your array. And, you know, and it, we've all, I think we've all been there before where, where we've had to enter every single name manually, uh, drag and drop, you know, copy paste. This eliminates that. Um, this, this will save you hours if you're doing anything on a larger scale that has any type of text replacement. So for this exact spreadsheet, um, what I had to do was um, they had a logo. This was for a golf tournament um, and they were giving out water bottles to all of their 260 something uh, guests or members or, or players. Um, so it cycled through their player number and as well as their name. Um, and the only thing I had to do was hit send and then change my water bottle out. Uh, it was kind of brainless as opposed to what I'm used to where, you know, I have a list and I delete one and then, you know, delete the rest. And then, uh, you know, it, it was so, so much easier. Um, what a time saver something like this is. Um, I hope you guys understand. If you have any questions, feel free to to put it in the comments below, um, and we will try to help you out. I appreciate it. Remember, House of Lasers, come visit us. Uh, make sure you join, and we'll see you soon.